What's up, everybody? Reefer Man Reviews, back with another review. We got a review and a few today. Keep it short and sweet. AWA Upshot Bite Size by Colin, Colin Bud. And we, uh, of course, the words are mirrored and shit, so sorry. But there's the cover art. There's the cover for number two. Coming for number three. And a cover for number four finale. Now this is basically a quick little story, and that's why this is going to be a quick little review. Uh, bunch of toys from a military installation. They were uh, science, uh, you know, government projects, whatever. Um, they escaped and, and whatnot, and one of them, he goes a little cuckoo because all he knows of human behavior is, is the torture they were put through. So, uh, this is, this all happens on Christmas Eve in our family's house. This is an all-ages story, and, uh, absolutely awesome. Reminds me of the old, uh, what do you call it? It's, it's kind of like, I don't even know. There's so many things that I could, uh, equate it to, but, yeah, check this page out. Basically, a bunch of the robots are trying to help the kids from this family that, that the house that they're at um, because the other one one of them one of the robots you know like I said thinks that all humans are bad whatever so it's trying to hurt this family and everything and uh, it's just comic mischief uh, no real violence uh, very suitable for all ages whether you're 6 16 or, or 46 I'm 43 so there you go loved it uh, like I said, this was a Colin Bunn story. Um, he wrote it. Let's see, I need the uh, title screen. These all have, all the AWA books have great little title screens like this, uh, pages, rather. rather. Um, very reminiscent of like Walking Dead, how their cover, how their title pages were. Um, Although this is in color, of course, major difference. Colin Bunn is the writer. Nelson Blake the second is the artist. Snakebite Cortez, colorist, Sal Cipriato, letterer. Cover artist, Raza. John Gallagher, Brain Dead Comics exclusive variant cover artist. And um, that is the credits I've seen in the first issue, once again. Um, wonderful little story. So if you've got a young one and they're into robots and that kind of comic mischief, uh, Get the trade for this when it comes out, or, or find all four of these issues and, and get them. Very well worth the read. A lot of fun. I sat and read it in, in ten minutes. All four issues, just boom. You know, it's nothing deep. It's just a quick little fun adventure. Highly recommend it. I'm gonna give it nine out of ten. Nothing's really perfect. If I give everything a ten out of ten, then what's the point, right? Some things are invariably gonna be better than other things. I would. This wasn't bad. I can't give it an eight. I would feel guilty giving it an 8. We're going to give it a 9. And, yeah, that's all I've got for, um, for that. Wait for my reviews. I'm out of here. Click them likes and subscribes and notification bells. Later, y'all.